Welcome to the latest updates from the BGN channel. Cholera outbreak claims 400 lives in Zambia. In Zambia, a deadly cholera outbreak has killed over 400 people and infected more than 10,000. Schools nationwide are ordered shut after the year in holidays, and a major soccer stadium in the capital serves as a treatment facility. Tragedy strikes as 13 lives lost in devastating school dormitory fire in China's Henan province. 13 people died in a dormitory fire at Yingkai School in Henan province, China. The blaze was reported to the local fire department at 11 p.m. on Friday, and rescuers extinguished the flames by 11.38 p.m. One person was injured in the incident. Astrobotics Moon mission ends in South Pacific setback. A U.S. spaceship, Astrobotics Peregrine Lander, was lost in the South Pacific after a failed moon landing mission due to an explosion and fuel leak. Efforts to minimize debris reaching land were made. NASA's strategy continues with the next attempt by intuitive machines in February. Hundreds of Myanmar soldiers flee to India amid ongoing clashes. Nearly 600 Myanmar army soldiers have crossed into India amid intense clashes. Mizoram government has alerted the center about the development and urged them to quickly ensure that the soldiers from the neighboring nation are sent back. Mizoram urges swift action, shelter provided in Assam Rifles Camp. Tea talks between Mizoram CM and Union Home Minister amid escalating situation. Shoaib Malik's surprise marriage to Sana Javed amid divorce speculations with Sanya Mirza. On 20th January 2024, Shoaib Malik announced his marriage to actress Sana Javed amid ongoing divorce rumors with Indian tennis star Sanya Mirza. While neither Malik nor Mirza has confirmed the divorce, Sania Mirza's father revealed to the media that Sania has initiated the process of Khula. The news has sparked mixed reactions. Historic first, Modi visits Tamil Nadu temples before Ram Mandir inauguration. Prime Minister Narendra Modi received a warm welcome during his inaugural visit to the Sri Ranganatha Swamai Temple in Trichy. This visit, Preceding the Ram Mandir inauguration, includes stops at other Tamil Nadu temples. Modi's engagement involves listening to scholars recite Kamba Ramayanam verses in Tiruchirappalli, marking a significant cultural and religious event. Velsau residents protest alleged railway encroachment on right of way. Velsau residents, led by Goencho Ekvota, protest railway contractors' alleged encroachment on the right of way without prior notice. The group, including former MLA Alina Saldana, claims the action threatens heritage houses and causes pollution. Their demands include addressing the issue and preserving private property rights. Revant Reddy Rose in London declares political showdown with BRS in parliament elections. Chief Minister A. Revant Reddy, addressing a Telangana NRI meeting in London, declares that the Congress is determined to defeat the BRS in the upcoming parliament elections, burying it 100 meters deep. He criticized BRS leaders for their arrogance and asserts that their party will fade away emphasizing the government's focus on good governance and development initiatives. All aboard progress, Secunderabad's 700 crore rupees rail hub upgrade accelerates. The Secunderabad railway station is undergoing a massive redevelopment project that will transform it into a world-class transportation hub. The redevelopment project is expected to significantly improve the overall travel experience for passengers at Sikandarabad Station, a major hub for South Central Railways. The project also aims to boost tourism and economic activity in the region. Telangana, houses built on government land bulldozed. Shocking news from Hyderabad. 
Government officials demolished houses built illegally on government land. The demolitions took place in Medchalmal Kasgiri district, where people had built houses on encroached land. Residents are furious. They say they lived there for years and received no notice. Officials claim the demolitions were necessary for development and residents were warned officials claim the demolitions were necessary for development and residents were warned beforehand.